Hey guys, what is up? This is Talent Ninja 2334 and today what I'm talking about is why I believe Supply Drops saved Call of Duty Advanced Warfare. Not only on you know the actually playing side, but also on the YouTube side. And I'm gonna touch on both. I'll start with you know the Call of Duty side of things and I'm moving on to YouTube and why I think it's actually helped a lot of YouTubers grow massively since the game came out with like supply drop videos and all of that. But before I talk about the commentary, I just gonna say the gameplay is real quick, so it's gonna be a DNA bomb. Don't know what map, what gun, etc. I know it's gonna be a DNA bomb. Something, you know, a little snazzy gameplay in the background for you guys. So I'm gonna jump into the commentary right now. So I'm gonna start off with the Call of Duty side of things. Actually playing it, you know, not the YouTube, but actually playing. And personally, I love supply drops. I mean, when you're playing in a game and, you know, all of a sudden you, when you die or get a kill, boom, you get a little supply drop thing at the bottom of the screen. It like sparks a little bit of like happiness inside of you. You know, you don't get like, oh, are you kidding me? I just got a supply drop, dude. I'm I'm so done with this game, man. I got a supply drop. Are you kidding me? No, you, you get a little happy. I mean, you kind of you kind of want to leave the game if you keep if you die. Like, I want to back out, and open this supply drop right now. It like sparks a little bit of happiness inside of you. And I love getting supply drops. I actually just opened like bought some advanced supply drops for a video, which should be going up soon. And I'm like want to keep buying more now because they're. A lot of fun to open up and try to get you can get a lot of really cool like weapons and like uh, armor and exosuits and all that in there and it's kind of fun to keep collecting and getting more and have a giant collection you can show off to friends you know show up on a video and try to get those legendary or elites royalty weapons etc you can try to get those right and it's a lot of fun it brings a whole nother like uh, I don't know how to, I don't know how to explain this but brings a whole another outlook or I don't know, I'm, screw this part, screw this part, this part, I'm messing up, I don't know what I'm trying to say, but it brings another thing in the game that you can enjoy, instead of, you know, this game kills, you can have supply drops one, I'm hoping there's supply drops or something like this in, in uh, Black Ops 3, I heard there isn't though, so that's gonna, that kind of sucks, but I mean, hopefully Black Ops 3 is a good game, but, so let's say you're a really bad player, right, and you don't do good, one thing you, you love are supply drops, and my, one of my friend, one of my friends who isn't that good, uh, Busty Adam, <laughs> But he isn't that good, but he loves getting supply drops, loves watching those videos. Because, you know, he tries to get those really good guns, and it's really fun for him to try to do the challenges, to get the daily supply drop, or just opening a good supply drop, hoping you get something good, right? He enjoys doing that. Even the good players like supply drops as well. I mean, there, are, there can be some flaws with it, but overall, I think it's helped the game. I don't think it's made the game worse. I think a lot of people have enjoyed supply drops. I don't really hear too many people complaining about getting supply drops. I think everyone enjoys those. I just hear people complaining about, I got Nigerian boots in my supply drop, so I think I got, I mean, that's kind of annoying, but what do you expect? So, now I'm going to talk about the YouTube side of things and why it's helped a lot of YouTubers get big on YouTube. I mean, not like crazy, crazy big, but just for example, so superior. Um, he probably had, I don't know how many subscribers he had going into Advanced Warfare. He probably had a couple thousand, maybe like 10,000. Could be less, could be more. Somewhere around there, right? And now he's at over like 150,000, maybe 160,000 right now. I'm not exactly sure, but his channel's blown up. You know, with different, you know, best class setup with the elite weapons, because you know, obviously you get elite weapons and supply drops. Or, you know, different like wagers. I know OG X rays, Dr. Pineapples, people do those. Those are really fun to watch. And the elite weapon, you know, wagers, you know, supply drop openings, legendary hunts. And a lot of people's channels are blowing up because of these supply drop videos, because a lot of people like watching them. I love watching supply drop opening videos. I know a lot of people are like, oh, it's a cheap way to grow, but really that's the big thing right now. Like, think about the FIFA. The FIFA community, like everyone, a lot of people are, do like FIFA pack openings and stuff like that, right? People enjoy watching those, same thing Call of Duty, people love watching supply drop videos. If you're not good at the game, you still, you know, one thing you like is supply drops, right? And you're going to love watching videos, people opening up really good guns, getting like a double legendary, like I, I liked watching those videos. And I like doing like the elite, you know, wagers, like, or like the guess the elite, or you know, uh... Supply drop roulette, you know, there's so many different things people think of. It's so creative. I mean, I started doing some. I'm not going to do like a lot. I'm going to stick to the basics, you know, the commentaries, DNA bombs, and all that. But every once in a while, they're fun to make. Like my mom deleting the elites, um, stuff like that, right? It's fun to do. It's punch opening videos are fun to do. I might do some, like, not a lot. Obviously, I'm not going to turn into just a punch opening video channel. I want to do commentaries like doing those tone stories, doing commentaries like this, right? But that's just, you know, on the side, maybe like do some live comms and also some supply drop videos um so like that so comment down below if you guys what you guys think about supply drops if you enjoy them think it's stupid like you hate getting supply drops or if you 
like advanced supply drops, supply drops, etc. Or any if you guys like watching supply drop videos on YouTube, I think it's helped a lot of people grow crazy this year in uh, advanced warfare. I think it saved the game. I think without supply drops, I wouldn't be playing this game. I don't think I would be playing it anymore because it brings a whole other aspect. That's the word I was trying to find. Aspect. It brings a whole other aspect to the game, and uh, just bring it makes it a lot more fun. So, I know funder's not a word, so I didn't say it, right? Boom. Let's go. That's why I'm graduating high school. So, this will be the end of the video. Make sure to drop a like if you enjoyed. That was a pretty long commentary. Comment down below what you guys think about supply drops, the advanced supply drops, getting elite guns, if you guys like that whole idea and that they put in the game. So, I'm out. Peace.